how would you identify or self identify if you were kind of stuck in this fast forward mode mm -hmm. or, or Carl, is it just pretty much all of us right now? Those who haven't changed jobs during the pandemic to something, let's say more higher quality of life are most people stuck and how do you know? I think many people are, possibly even most, yeah. Um, how do you know? I think there's a, a long list of, what's the word, symptoms maybe, or alarm mm -hmm. bells that you can see. I'll give you three that jump to mind to start with. Yeah. The first, we touched on it a moment ago, is is exhaustion, yeah? It's just feeling wiped out, <laughs> um, either during the day or certainly by the end of the day. I think the body very often is the barometer, right? It's the canary in the coal mine that sends the message saying, you are just living way too fast. So before you get to the burnout or the, you know, whatever the serious health problem is, the body will be sending you messages and that and the message that comes through loud and clear telling you that you're living too fast is that you're tired all the time. Yeah, that's one, that's one good marker. A second is if you are thinking constantly about time, right? If you are freaking about it by the minutes, you're looking at your watch, you're thinking, oh, it's 10 minutes to this, what can I do? Because when you get into a slow state, people talk about being in a flow state, yeah? When you're completely engaged in, in an activity or a task, you are fully there. And the other thing that happens in that flow moment, or I call it a slow moment, is you forget the clock, yeah? Mm. So if you find yourself- It's a wonderful time. I rarely ever, I rarely get there, but when it is, it is such a great period of time, the flow exactly. time. Exactly. And you recognize that that feeling, right? It's a it's a hard it's hard for someone to give you a checklist of things. Say here exactly this is how you get to flow. This is how you. We just know it. It's like when you've eaten too much candy. You haven't counted the candy, but you know you've eaten too much candy, right? You yeah, just know yeah. it. And I think we know that state of flow or state of slow when we're in it. And one way to measure it, one barometer is whether we stop looking at the clock. And then a third way, which people often don't think of but which is equally valid here for judging too much speed in your life is memory. Because as the famous Czech novelist once said, uh, Milan Kundera, he said, uh, there is an intimate bond between slowness and remembering. And that's so true because when you are racing through life too fast, nothing sticks. Everything's a blur. You go through what the moment and it's gone. Nothing stays with you. And I think a lot of us have that sensation, right? We get to the end of the week or the month or even the year. We look back and think, whoa, that was 2021, right? You know, I, I can't remember what I had for dinner last night, you know, or, you know, I watched a, finished a Netflix series two days ago and I don't remember how it ended, right? You know, I think that <laughs> when, when memory, like memories like that don't stay, that is a very clear indicator that you are racing through because you're not there. You're simply not there. And so you're not there to absorb it and, and, and mark it and engrave it in your memory. So those are three little ways to look for warning flags, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. So if our, if our audience is experiencing the experiencing those, which is you're, we're just we're always worn out, exhausted at the end of the day, end of the week, we are constantly thinking about time, checking a clock, checking a clock, mm -hmm. and then our memory starts to kind of be, it's almost as though we don't give it quite enough upload time. You're going so fast. It's not even, we're not able to upload what happened. What day is it? What, wait, wait, was that Tuesday, Wednesday, or was that two weeks ago? Yeah. That yeah. That's when you know you're living too fast. Those are three good markers right there. Well summed up.